Most of the time, most of the countries go along with what Saudi Arabia wants to do. And uh, sometimes they uh, are playing their own nefarious role, like the Emirates. The Emirates have been the ground troops in Yemen and have also been building their own secret torture prisons in Yemen. The UAE also has this liberal veneer. Um, it has Dubai and they serve alcohol during the day on Ramadan. You know, Western visitors won't even notice uh, how repressive the UAE is if they go there. And the UAE and Saudi Arabia are one hand in Yemen. I mean, the UAE is doing an enormous amount of damage in Yemen. The Emirates have been working with Eric Prince to try to set up their own mercenary firm that would be then hired by the United States and other countries to do their bidding in the region. Eric Prince's mercenary company Academy, formerly Blackwater, was contracted to conduct military operations in Yemen by the United Arab Emirates and was again recruited to train a mercenary army of thousands for a planned invasion of Qatar before the GCC blockade with the goal of regime change. Eric Prince was very close with the Bush administration. As we know, he ran Blackwater, now Academy. He wants to privatize the war in Afghanistan. Um, you know, Blackwater was, of course, most famous for the Nasser Square massacre, the death of 17 Iraqis in Nasser Square. And what happened to Blackwater? What happened to Eric Prince after these horrible atrocities in Iraq advising Trump? I mean, Bannon and Eric Prince both want a holy war with Islam. That, that's basically what their goal is at the end of the day. Um, they're both rabidly anti-Muslim. That's what's so bizarre about it. It's that Bannon and Prince, for all much as they hate Muslims, they sure as hell will work a lot with the Saudi governments. Jared Kushner also is another figure who deserves consideration here. Kushner is who you have to go through. From people I've talked to who've been in meetings in the White House, the generals are even a little bit afraid of Jared Kushner because they need Trump's ear and Kushner is the real gatekeeper and Kushner is a wild card. Kushner's family has donated extensively to the Israeli settlement enterprise and Jared Kushner is very close to Yusuf Otaiba, the UAE ambassador, and very close to the Saudi UAE axis. So that really dictates what goes on in the White House.